what's up you guys i have another dope new video for you guys if this works for you or if you like this video please feel free to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like for this glitch you will need an moc or your friend will need an moc because i'm going to be putting will and kestrel off the radar with my moc it's super easy it will have guns so it's off the radar with guns i really haven't seen many videos about this but I know other YouTubers know about this, and I just I don't know if they like didn't think it was a good enough glitch or like I don't know. I just haven't seen it. I'm not the founder, but I don't know. I just haven't seen many videos about it. So I'm gonna invite him to my MOC, and then I'm going to go to the MOC, um, like thing in your interaction menu and hit empty trailer. I'm gonna spam A on this, and I'm gonna tell him to accept the invite into my mobile operation center, and that should kick him outside without him coming in and then when he spawns outside he's gonna tell me and then that's when I know to stop spamming A and that means he's off the radar because when I go out there I won't be able to see him. It's like a ridiculous, ridiculously easy glitch and um, I don't know I haven't seen many videos about this but I've known about it for like a few months and so when I hit pause he was out there before you could see that in the very beginning of the video. He didn't call Lester, he didn't um, use his CEO ability or anything like that. He literally was just taken off the radar through kicking him out before he got inside of my MOC. And you can see here that there he is, but you won't see him on the little mini map. And when I hit pause, you won't see his little icon anywhere near me, even though we can see that he's running around right there. Um, he does have access to his guns, so this is a off the radar with guns glitch. Uh, if he dies, he will be um on the radar again and um i had difficulty uh trying this again in the same session so maybe you have to leave the session i don't really know much about this and i didn't have time to like experiment with it too much because um i had to get off and thanksgiving and stuff yesterday but he does have access to his guns and he is able to kill but he's not like god mode or anything weird like that although there is a god mode car glitch which he could use to go off the radar and then get in a car and then put the car in god mode. So maybe I'll make a video about the god mode glitch. But you can see here when I kill him, he will spawn back on the radar. But this is a super easy off the radar with guns glitch. What's up you guys? It's your boy Ghost Gaming. And in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to get a fully invisible vehicle. So if you guys enjoy, make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and turn on your post notifications for you guys won't miss out and follow me on twitter the link is in the description but let's get started so the first thing you will need to do is have a friend who's going to be helping you so shout out to my boys for helping me with today's video next you guys will need to have a personal cargo bob if you guys don't have a personal cargo bob just find yourself a cargo bob and drive it inside of your hangar. Once you guys do that, go ahead and take your cargo bob outside. And for the person who's flying the cargo bob, you're going to have to open your interaction menu and turn into a motorcycle club president. So go ahead and start that up. Once you guys are a motorcycle club president, for your friends who's gonna be helping you, they wanna go ahead and request one of the personal vehicles that they wanna turn invisible. So for the one who's driving the car, he's gonna make sure he's no CEO or president. You wanna make sure you're nothing basically. And he's just gonna get inside of his vehicle and I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up with my cargo bob. So as you guys can see, just go ahead and do what we're doing. So make sure you guys pick your friend up and then fly about 10 or 20 feet in the air. Open your interaction menu, go to the motorcycle club president, hover above request motorcycle and you're going to jump out and quickly request it. And if you've done it correctly, your friend who was in the car should go invisible as you guys can see. We have no idea where he's at now, except for on the mini map, he is now in a fully invisible vehicle. So now we're going to go ahead and show you guys the other point of view of me being in the vehicle and my friend picking me up with the cargo bob. So I'm going to just go ahead and skip forward 
and I'll be right back once I do that. So now I'm in my personal vehicle and I'm no CEO or president and my friend is in his personal cargo bub and he just became a motorcycle club president. Now what he's gonna do is he's gonna try to pick me up in his cargo bub. So just give him a few seconds to do that. It is pretty tricky for some people. So comment below, good shit for picking me up because he was having a hard time doing it. And please leave a like on today's video cause every like will be appreciated. But like I said, for the one who's in the vehicle, he's just gonna make sure he's no CEO or president. And then your friend is gonna be in a personal cargo bob as a motorcycle club president. He's gonna go ahead and fly me up. And as soon as he jumps out, he's gonna try to request a motorcycle from his motorcycle club president options. And if he done it correctly, you guys will see I turn fully invisible inside of my vehicle so that is pretty much it on how to get a fully invisible vehicle yo what is up you guys it's your boy ghost gaming and in today's video i will be showing you guys how to bring direct demo characters in an online session so please make sure to smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and don't forget to turn on your post notifications for you guys won't miss out but let's get started with today's video so the first thing you guys will need to do is create a brand new account. Once you guys create a brand new account, go ahead and finish the story mission of Prologue and then start up an invite only session. Once you guys start up an invite only session, since it's a new account that we just created, it's going to give us the option to create a GTA 5 online character as you guys can see. So what you guys will need to do is go ahead and create an online character. So go ahead and hit X to edit the character. And it really doesn't matter how you make the character because we're going to be deleting the character later on in the video. So what I would do is just hit save and continue to hurry up. So just go ahead and create the character, hit save and continue. And then go ahead and hit OK to take your little photo and just give it some time to load you guys in that online session. So I'm going to go ahead and skip forward and we'll be right back once we do get online. So once you guys do spawn online, all you guys are going to have to do from here is press pause, go to online, and go over to swap character. And once you guys go over to swap character, pretty much what we're going to be doing is we're going to delete the character that we just created. So this is why I say to make a new PSN account, for you guys won't delete your main character on your main account. So just make a new PSN and go ahead and do it. But we're going to delete the character now. So go ahead and delete it. And once you guys delete it, you just got to give it a few seconds to delete the character completely. And then just go ahead and hit OK on it. Once you guys get back to the mugshot room, pretty much all you need to do from here is go ahead and press circle to return to GTA 5 story mode. And just give it some time to load you guys into story mode. So once you guys do load into story mode, go ahead and hit the pause menu, go to the game, and load a new game of story mode so go ahead and do that 
and it's gonna load you guys into a new game save of your story mode so just give it some time to do so but before I go make sure you leave a like on today's video So once you guys do get back into story mode, go ahead and open your interaction menu and go into director mode. And once you guys get into director mode, all you guys are going to want to do is pick an animal as your character and it does have to be a bird. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure that I spawn on the land because if you don't spawn on the land, it's going to mess the glitch up. So I'm going to go ahead and check by clicking a random character to walk around just to make sure I'm walking around on the land in director mode. So this little part that I'm doing right now, you guys do not have to do it unless you're not walking on the land. So I'm just making sure. But like I said, now that I know for sure I'm going to be walking on the land, we could get it started with the glitch. So you guys should be at the director mode trailer. Go ahead and go to your animals and pick an animal like I said. Go ahead and pick a bird. And once you guys pick your animal aka a bird, go ahead and press pause. And you want to set a waypoint into the ocean. And then go to your interaction menu, go to location and go over to waypoint. As soon as you hit X to teleport to your waypoint. You want to go to your recent activities and hit start GTA online where it says you claim the bounty. And as soon as you hit start GTA online, it's going to give you a black error message. Go ahead and decline it and you guys should be glitched out like I am. Wait until you get inside of the water and it looks like you die. And then quickly keep going to your bounty hidden start GTA online and decline the alert as fast as possible if you've done it correctly. You guys will get wasted. Once you guys get wasted, you guys will be on a black loading screen for about 10, 15 seconds. Just count about 10 seconds. And once you guys do that, go back to your recent activities where it says you claim the bounty. And go ahead and hit start GTA Online once again. And once you guys do that, go ahead and decline the alert that pops up. And you guys should be your animal in story mode. From here go to your interaction menu and go back into director mode. Once you guys get back to director mode. You guys can go ahead and go to the actors. And pick any actor you guys want to bring online. So I am just showing you guys some options right now. I wasn't sure which actor I should have been online this time. So just give me a few seconds to find one that I want to use and I'll be right back. But please hit that like button if you haven't already. So once you guys do find the actor you want to use, go ahead and hit X on it. And once you guys hit X on your actor, you guys should be like this. Go ahead and open your interaction menu and quit director mode. Once you guys quit director mode, you guys will be your director mode character in story mode. So now all you have to do is press pause and go into an online session. I recommend you go into an invite only session first and then find a new session of public. But just give it some time to load us online and I'll be right back.
So once you guys load online, you guys should be your direct mode character in the online session. So that is pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys understood and enjoyed. Smash that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. I'm Ghost Gaming and I'll see you guys. Yo, what's good Prestige Community, it's Zav or PMHD here. Don't forget to check out the director featured in today's video if you enjoyed it. Sub link is at the top of the description. Check out our previous videos too. Subscribe, stay tuned, stay prestige. Peace.